It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday, and thanks for tuning in yet again to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, your business becomes show business each weekday morning at 8 a.m. here on 1250 WHNZ. It's a business variety show, something different each and every morning as I talk to many different professionals from around the Bay Area about what they're doing within their business and what they're doing within our communities to make a difference. So as always, please take a moment to uh, tune in each and every morning and take a break from all the political news and sports talk that's uh, on the airwaves just a little bit too much with a show with a completely different flavor. And that's what that business show is all about. Also, uh, you can take a look at my uh, website, tampabayradio.com over there. All shows are available on demand. And also you'll notice that my regular job is real estate. So over there, you can peruse all the local real estate listings and take advantage of my uh, sell your home feature on the homepage of tampabayradio.com. Just uh, put in your home's information and I'll get you over a free home valuation and we'll get those out to you within about 24 to 48 business hours. And we need to get some inventory out there on the uh, marketplace. The uh, Tampa Bay real estate market is very undersupplied and a lot of properties uh, getting uh, multiple offers and just not enough supply out there to uh, take care of all the buyers in our marketplace. If you're interested in learning more about the uh, real estate market, I do do a weekly show each and every Sunday morning at uh, 5 a.m. on 970 WFLA. And we do make that show available on demand over at tampabayradio.com as well. So a great uh, informational show on real estate. Call it That Business Show, the real estate edition with uh, my co-host Frank Cotto of the Lincoln Lending Group. So again, that show airs uh, Sunday mornings at 5 a.m. on 970 WFLA. And that show, again, all about real estate, sort of reminiscent of my uh, earlier days in radio when I hosted the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show. But for now, this show uh, is all about business owners and professionals and about what they are doing each and every morning. So that's what That Business Show is all about. And if you would take a moment to uh, check out all my uh, social media sites and uh, connect with me facebook.com forward slash that business show and also you'll find me on twitter under jamie underscore maloney i uh, joined in studio as always by my amazing team Stephen armstrong uh, with uh, iheart radio working the uh, audio and also josh vazda handling the live streamcast as you know we do stream all shows here live in studio so if you click over to tampa bay radio and click on watch live stream you can see the video here in studio and my amazing photographer rick Tosseda, who's in here each and every morning sharing with the uh the viewers the amazing uh, photographs that you see all over uh, social media rick Tosseda.com, a great photographer and available for pretty much any and all photography events that you may need from uh you know uh shows to uh weddings and whatnot rick uh, Tosseda can help you at rick so let's go ahead and bring on my uh, first guest for the show bob mcknight is the owner and president of mcknight and mcknight insurance a fully independent health insurance brokerage working with all the major carriers ensuring that they always find their clients the best coverage at the lowest cost bob welcome to the program this morning thank you jamie thank you thanks for having us absolutely and it was kind of a reunion this morning uh, as <laughs> bob and i went to school together in florida southern college back in 1996 we were just kind of passing friends back then and had not been in touch probably for 20 some years and i was looking at his uh, information last night and his card and just getting ready for my show and i said i know this guy Go and sure enough, Go sure Marks, enough, that's right. Sure enough, we were at Florida Southern College together. We came in in '96 as freshmen, and we kind of went both uh, down separate paths. You know, yeah. in those first weeks, you know, it was a very kind of Greek centric uh, campus where you had to join a fraternity. Very or much sorority. so. Yeah, very much so. You went to Pike Pi Kappa Alpha. I yeah. went to Pi Kappa Phi, and we kind of we were kind of enemies, you know, as the the in the fraternity world there, not personally, right, but right. yeah, on campus, the Pikes and the Pi Caps used to butt heads a lot. Not us, just the other guys. It was a stuff. competitive thing there with all the fraternities it was it was yeah. neat i i loved the the greek life it, it was, was it was a different time in my for a life. small school it was huge yeah. yeah i mean we went to school for about two thousand people and uh it really was you you had to be a part of a fraternity or a sorority or you're kind of like an outcast yeah that, that absolutely. School. but uh, a lot of great memories we won't get into the fraternity <laughs> stories uh can i kind of keep those under wraps uh, that was my old life uh as i'm a professional now so <laughs> bob you started uh, your business kind of right out of college though right? i did yeah talk to us about mcknight and mcknight yeah yeah i started i actually um right out of college i well my last semester at florida southern i interned with john hancock here in tampa 
and then took a position with them uh, right afterwards and mostly was focusing on uh, really just becoming a financial advisor. And I did it for uh, just under a year, about a year, had some success with it, but felt like felt like I knew a little bit about everything, but not a lot about anything. And I didn't really like the way it was headed. Uh, so I decided I really wanted to focus on just one product. And that's where I branched off into just health insurance and uh, started uh, McKnight and McKnight there and uh, have been going ever since. Um, now, your specialty now is uh, health insurance, right? But it is. but I want to make it clear that your broker or that your service provides other insurance products. Correct. But your, your specialty now is this new health care law. We do, out yeah. We really specialize in health insurance. Um, you know, we've been doing it now 15 years, but it's really kind of started all over as of 2014 when this new law came into effect. It kind of uh, cleaned the slate, if you will, and you start all over. So it's been uh, quite challenging adapting to the law, but it's one of those things that uh, we've been able to do and continue to grow our business. So. Now, you're a broker, right? Now, mm-hmm. a lot of people can just go onto the exchanges and get this law, uh, you know, a, a coverage themselves. Talk yep. to me about, you know, the advantages of using a broker in, you know, with Obamacare. Sure. Well, the, the main reason is because now more than ever, it's more complicated of a purchase. Um, prior to this new law, it was just a matter of picking a plan that you like and going with that plan. Now with this new law, you have to take into account things like, do I qualify for a subsidy? Do I not? What kind of income do I list? What don't I list? Uh, which plan's good for me? One of the big changes is networks. Networks are getting smaller and smaller. So which plan does my doctor take? Which doesn't? Uh, which plan has better co-pays? So it's it's more complicated now than ever. So even though you'll hear things pushing you to go to the website, figure it out on your own, believe it or not, out of 40 questions, if you answer one wrong, it could lead to much higher premiums, could lead to a tax penalty, all sorts of things. So it's really more important now than ever to make sure you work not only with a broker, but a broker that has a lot of experience with the new law. Now, and do a lot of people come to you now for the, with all these questions, or do you find a lot of people that are going to the site and just navigating it for themselves? Mostly we find people coming to us with questions. Um, some have already tried it and had an issue or couldn't get it, and, and we go in and fix it for them. But most people are coming to us because they have questions. What does this mean to me? What does this mean to my business? Am I going to get a tax penalty? Am I not? Um, can I get a subsidy? Why can't I? Um, So those type of questions are always coming up. Um, But also to circle back as far as a broker, one of the most important things working with a broker is that it doesn't cost anything. A lot of people are concerned with, oh, I'll try it on my own so I can save some money. It's literally the exact same cost, whether you use a broker or you don't. We get paid from the insurance companies. Whether you use a broker or you don't, it's the same price. So essentially, our services are free to the consumer. So. Okay, so it doesn't matter, you know, in terms of cost. So I guess it just affects the insurance company a little bit more by they got to pay you, but it doesn't affect the consumer. They're going to no, pay the same. No, it's the same exact price. Whether you get, you know, uh, United Healthcare from United Healthcare or get United Healthcare from me, same price to the penny. So it doesn't cost you anything additional. Now let's talk. Uh, a lot of our listeners out there are small business owners, and so I want to talk to them about the impact uh, you know this is having on their business. Yeah. Uh, first off. Uh, you know what? How does this affect small business owners? There's a certain uh, threshold where this kicks in, correct? It is, yeah. So for the most part, if you have less than 50 employees, it's it's not going to affect you. You don't have to um, apply by the uh, apply to the mandate that's out there. But the way it is affecting a lot of small business owners that we talk to is that when the new law came out, if you don't qualify for a subsidy we did see a big jump in costs. So a lot of our small business owners are looking for the most affordable option they can find because as cost goes up, they're trying to still keep their costs as low as possible and look at the best option. Um, but in general, if you have less than 50 employees, it, it doesn't apply to you too much as far as the penalty. And that, that is 50 full-time employees, It correct? is, yeah. It's full-time. So if, if you have part-time, it doesn't count towards it. It's 50 full-time employees. Are business owners coming to you and saying, well, I'm going to lay off some people or I'm going to change their, you know, from full-time to seasonal or We've seen part-time. a lot of that. We've seen and- a lot of that. Unfortunately, people change from full-time to part-time uh, just because of that reason, because the cost for it is so high that businesses would prefer to do that rather than have to, you know, bring on insurance for the whole. Now, for the individual, I mean, what kind of plans are out there mm-hmm. then, and how does it compare to basically what was on the the market to you know before the law was? Enacted? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the the plans that are out there, I will say, are much more comprehensive because one of the things that the law did is it now mandates that about forty different things are covered on every policy. Um, you know, one of the main things is that pre-existing conditions are now covered. So no matter what health issue you have, 
uh, you're covered from day one, no waiting periods, no exclusions. Um, so that helps quite a bit. Uh, another thing is, you know, every policy includes maternity now. Mental illness coverage has improved. Preventative care has improved dramatically. Uh, when you go in and get your checkups and physicals, that's free now. So a lot of those things have improved quite a bit, making the coverage uh, much richer. And for that reason, people are much more excited and covered a little bit better. But it also, because the cost is going up, you have people taking on higher deductibles. So while the coverage is getting better, people are having to take on higher deductibles. So it's kind of one of those things. That's I heard a lot of people over the last year complain that they've been canceled from their prior health uh, coverage. I yeah. mean, what, I mean, and broadly speaking, I mean, how many people lost coverage and had to, you know, redirect under this new law? Quite a few. And that was one of the big confusions with the laws because, you know, they heard if you like your plan, you can keep it. And unfortunately with the new law, it didn't really work that way. So back in 2014 in January, a lot of the older plans were ending. So that's where you saw a ton of that. Um, but also where we're seeing it now is the insurance companies are still having to try to figure out this new law. So every year we're seeing plans come and go. Um, you know, just this year for open enrollment, um, we've got two companies that are pulling all their plans uh, and we've got one that's pulling half their plans. So the, the days of getting an insurance plan and sticking with it for five or 10 years have kind of come and gone. With this new law, it's really important to speak with a broker like myself or shop around to make sure you're looking to see what new options are coming out that might fit you better than what you had the previous And year. if you had health insurance before the law, you didn't get any notices of any cancellations, does Obamacare, is it impacting you in other ways? Have they made changes to your plan you may not know about? I mean, how's Obamacare affecting people that, you know, haven't noticed anything with their regards to their current health care? Yeah, I mean, if you've had your plan Prior to when the law passed, which was 2010, you're what's called grandfathered. So you're able to keep your coverage, which is good. Um, you don't get the new benefits, so you don't get the free preventative care. You don't get maternity. You don't get pre-existing conditions, things like that. But at the same time, because you don't have those new benefits, your cost is a little lower than the new plan. So um, a lot of people do like that and will keep their plan as long as they can. Um, some people can benefit from these new changes. Maybe they had a rider on their policy for before where their knee wasn't covered or something like that. Now they can get a policy where they don't have that issue. So, you know, everybody's situation is different, but for the most part, if someone had a policy prior to 2010, for the most part, it's less expensive. They're going to they're gonna stay with that. So. Good information. Got to take a uh, short break here. Currently talk with uh, Bob McKnight, owner and president of McKnight and McKnight Insurance Solutions. Learn more about him, mcknight-insurance.com, or you can pick up the phone and give him a call, 813-792-2301. Again, 813-792-2301. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa, celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise, and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their Shop at Home Flooring Sales Service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. Four seven five seven. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. Are you looking for a local real estate firm that knows the market and has your interests in mind? Then contact Jim McPeak at McPeak Real Estate Firm, a family-owned business whose agents have over 60-plus years of experience in the Tampa Bay market. Many of the agents are military veterans that know the VA process for buying a home and are proud to help our military members in any way they can. From residential to commercial real estate, McPeak Real Estate Firm is here to help. Contact Jim at 813-495-3875 and learn more at mcpeakteam.com. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. 
When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. Help promote the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy. Tune in weekdays at 8 a.m. on 1250 Winds WHNZ to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where he promotes what is right with our community and highlights the successes of our entrepreneurs. Show contributor openings also available. You can learn more about the show and how to become part of this growing network at tampabayradio.com. Tune in weekdays at 8 a.m. to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Have you considered a reverse mortgage? Mortgage is part of your retirement financial plan. For homeowners age 62 or older, a reverse mortgage from Access Reverse Mortgage is a safe economical way to turn your home's equity into cash or monthly income. Access Reverse Mortgage is a family-owned company based right here in the Tampa Bay area for the past 10 years. They are A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau and Florida's leading reverse mortgage provider. Call 727 727- Three four seven zero three zero five, or go to accessreverse.com to start your research today. NMLS number four five six six. That's seven two seven three four seven zero three zero five. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Morning, slow traffic on southbound US 19 approaching Park Boulevard. Delays from mainlands. That's all due to a crash block in the lane there. Also one on Candy Boulevard between West Shore and Manhattan. Northbound US 301 at Causeway. There's a crash there as well, and also one on Florida between Fletcher and Fowler. Sea traffic problems called the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uteric Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Autotrader.com. With Autotrader, you never have to start your search over. You can save it and pick it back up on any device. So start your search on your tablet one day and keep searching on your phone the next. That way you can find your perfect car wherever and whenever you want. Visit Autotrader.com today. Today, a mix of sun and clouds and pleasant with a high 85. Tonight, partly cloudy and cool, low 68. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, high 87. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Again, weekday mornings at 8 a.m. here on 1250 WHNZ. Learn more about the show over at tampabayradio.com. Currently in studio with uh, Bob McKnight, owner and president of McKnight and McKnight Insurance Solutions. Learn more about him, mcknight Insurance insurance.com. Bob, uh, let's talk a little bit about open enrollment. People can't just go to uh, healthcare.gov right now and just get insurance at any given time now. There's an enrollment period. Talk to us about this. Yeah, absolutely. That That's one of the big changes that uh, really everybody's had to get used to is now that coverage is mandatory, you have to get it or there's a tax penalty. Uh, they, they want you to enroll every year during open enrollment. Um, the, it's changed every year. This year, it's from November through January 31st. And that's the time when the new plans come out, all the changes happen, the plans that uh, weren't as successful last year get pulled out and the new ones come back in. So that's really your once a year chance to make changes. Okay, so that's just coming up here soon. November 1st is when it opens. Yeah, it's coming up. And it's really different in our industry because prior to this, we help people year round. And we still do to this day. But for the most part, the time to make changes is during open enrollment. So it's it's a very crazy time in our business. But I definitely encourage anybody who doesn't have coverage through their job that that's the time you want to get in touch with a broker to see if there's any better options coming out for you. Because, again, every year with open enrollment, with this new law, there's new plans coming out. And now when does the tax penalty or how does the tax penalty work? It's already into effect, right, for this tax year. Was it in effect for last tax year, 2014? It was. It was was pretty minimal, though. Um, Last year's tax penalty was 1% of your income. So Net uh, adjusted income. 1% of your net income. Adjusted gross. Okay. And uh, this year, it, it did jump up a good amount, though. Um, it's 2% this year and 2.5% next year. And essentially what they're doing is they're getting the penalty to the point of it's going to get very close to the least expensive plan on the market. So essentially encouraging those to 
get insurance or oh, the tax penalty is going to be the same thing. So okay, so well yeah, they want to get it to where he, they interchange with one another. Then. Absolutely. Talk to me about some of the misconceptions of the health care law out there. There's a lot of that out there. But talk to us about you know what the most common ones are. A lot. I mean, anytime there's a big change like this in an industry, there's going to be a lot of misconceptions, confusion out there. Um, you know, this, this law has so many different names. Some people call it health care reform, Obamacare, Affordable Care Act whatever it is, because of so many names and so much information out there, uh, lots of confusion. I'd say the one we don't hear as much of anymore, but we heard a lot of in the beginning is, you know, how do I get my coverage for free? Um, I think we all know that that's that's not really the way it works now, but there are subsidies. And depending on your income level, some people can get reduced premiums, which um, for some situations has been huge. Um, We've seen some premiums as low as a dollar a month after a subsidy. So that's that is something that has come up. Um, but the biggest one we still get today is thinking that Obamacare or healthcare reform, whatever word you want to call it, um, is an is a entity within itself. Meaning, um, I would like a quote from United Healthcare, from Blue Cross, and Obamacare. Obamacare is not a thing. It's not like a carrier you're competing with. It's simply a law that all the carriers abide by. So um, it's the set of laws where they mandate what's covered now. But it's not a separate option. You're not going to get an insurance card that says Obamacare on it. You're still going to get United, Humana, whatever company it is. How has the response been from the medical community? Do you see uh, some doctors that are just kind of running from this a little bit and not accepting Obamacare patients? Or? You do. And those are the ones you hear about the most. I mean, there's there's a good mix. There's some that are embracing it and some that aren't. Um, you know, again, it's a big change for them as well. The law is extremely big and extremely complicated, and there's a lot of things doctors don't like in it. But one of the things from a consumer standpoint for your listeners that buy insurance is we're seeing a a huge reduction in networks. So where people are used to being able to go to any doctor, now they're finding, well, that doctor doesn't take that company anymore, this one or that one. So that is really the biggest thing we're having to work with our consumers with is to find out you know, are you attached to your doctor and make sure we find a plan that works for that. Now, the subsidies, we heard a lot about that, you yeah. know, in the marketplace. Who qualifies for the subsidies? How do they work specifically? Yeah, it, it's the general idea is it's income based. Um, you can't be offered coverage through your job. So if you're offered group benefits through a job, whether it's affordable or not, that disqualifies you from a subsidy. So as long as you're not offered group benefits, you can qualify for a subsidy and it's income based. So for an individual filing taxes, as long as your income is less than 45000 and higher than $11,500, uh, you can qualify for a subsidy. For a family of four, as long as the income is less than 94000 and higher than uh, 23500 So uh, a lot of people do qualify for it. It's, it is the one thing that uh, we have been surprised with. A lot of people have qualified for it, and that really can make a big difference on the premium. Now, I also heard some of the top hospitals aren't accepting Obamacare. Is that true? I mean, what, how's this work? Yeah, that, that goes with the network changes. I mean, we're seeing that constantly. And, and, you know, the insurance companies, the networks, everybody's trying to figure out the best way to handle this. But, yes, we've seen hospitals come in and out of network. We've seen uh, doctors come in and out of network. And we've also seen uh, a huge increase in HMOs. Uh, prior to this health care law, it was pretty much all PPOs. And now you're seeing a transition back to HMOs, which unfortunately most of my clients aren't aren't too thrilled about. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of uh, information out there, and that's just more of a reason to uh, use a broker uh, if you're out there uh, shopping for health insurance or for any of your health or for any of your insurance products needs. Uh, Bob McKnight, owner and president of McKnight and Knight McKnight and McKnight Insurance Solutions in studio. Thank you very much for being here. Thank studio. you for having me. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And people uh, can get more information from him at his website McKnight-Insurance.com, or you can reach out to him eight one three. Three seven nine two two three zero one again eight one three seven nine two two three zero one and website again mcknight insurance.com i gotta take another quick bottom of the hour break but uh, coming back from the break i'm gonna be talking with uh, president and ceo of largo financial services douglas aze all about financial services and more so it's gonna be a very informative segment in the meantime please take a moment and check out my website tampabayradio.com again all shows available on demand and please connect with me on all the different social media sites facebook.com forward slash that business show twitter under jamie underscore maloney we'll be back in a moment Hi, welcome to Yeager's. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, At Yeager's, our primary business is hardwood flooring, although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tiles, stone, 
what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. topics. That's this Sunday at 11 a.m. for the e-mortgage management hour, or you can visit tampabay.emmloans.com now. Lender NMLS 2926, equal housing lender. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Been a tough ride in the Riverview and Brandon areas this morning. Northbound US 301 approaching Bloomingdale and Causeway. Accidents at both of those intersections. Also, we've got slow traffic on Gibsonton Drive near I-75. Over in Pinellas County, southbound US-19 approaching Park Boulevard. Crash there was blocking the lane as well. See traffic problems? Call the entry firm of Abrahamson and Uteric Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Autotrader.com. With Autotrader alerts, they'll let you know when the prices drop on a car you've been searching for. That way, you'll never miss out on a great deal. And they'll even send you newly listed cars that match what you're looking for. Sign up for text alerts and find your perfect car today at autotrader.com. Winds weather center forecast, sunshine through the morning, a few scattered clouds into the afternoon. Going to see a bit of a breeze, somewhat windy conditions like we had yesterday. Mid-80s this afternoon for the high, tonight's lows, upper 60s. Very slight chance for an isolated shower for Wednesday, around 10%, and into the mid-80s. Impact Radio, 1250 winds, WHNZ. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And welcome back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Again, weekday mornings here on 1250 WHNZ at 8 a.m., a show with a positive message each morning as I talk to many different professionals, political and civic leaders about what they're doing in our communities to make a difference. Also, the show... Uh, uh, myself always looking for uh, guests and partners for the show so a number of people have reached out to me who are uh, av uh, average everyday listeners to the show so if you have something out there uh, that you'd like to talk with me about in the audience uh, please contact me the best way to get me a contact form over tampabayradio.com and we're also, uh, it's kind of becoming like a, a very established network of professionals in here too. So by becoming a guest, you'll become part of that business show network and uh, be featured on my uh, blog as well. And uh, people are using that as a resource to find different uh, professionals in the area. And also a lot of people just ask me each and every day, have you talked to somebody about this? Have you talked to somebody about that? Can I help you out? Or can, can you help me out with this? And it's, it's nice because I can easily uh, send them to me either my blog or I can send them over to uh, one of my uh, videos on uh, YouTube where everything's available on demand as well as tampa bay radio and they can uh, see uh the person uh live in studio and get a feel for who they are before using their services so the show again an excellent resource for all the different uh, professionals in and around the tampa bay region time to bring on my next guest for the show douglas Aze established largo financial services with a vision of providing individuals and small business owners with the education and guidance needed to achieve financial freedom with over 18 years of experience in the financial services industry douglas has continually 
always studied and trained to stay current on the principles and trends of personal finance and wealth accumulation. Douglas, welcome to the program today. Thank you. Good morning. How you doing? Doing great. Now, you have a great story here, and I always love to hear about these types of stories. You started your own business after you were a waiter at IHOP when you were just 24, right? Share this story with the audience. Yes. Um, once, I, once I got uh, into IHOP, I was waiting table, and one day a young lady gave me a business card. And I checked it out, and I called her and went out and sat down on an interview with her. First, getting to the parking lot, I saw all these cars. I'm like, well, <laughs> you know, these guys, BMW, Mercedes-Benz. I'm like, wow, okay, they must be doing something. So I went in, and I sat down, and she told me about the financial service industry, and they focused on college planning back then. And that's how I got in and worked with her for a couple of years and then finally left that company and worked with other big firms. And in 1999, I decided, you know what? It's time for me to st- step out on my own and build a company because I wanted to do something a little bit different in in the arena, which is where we educate clients more. So that's how I got started in the business. Yeah, and today uh, you're a business owner. You're also the author of your own book here, Creating Generational Wealth. You know, so th- no, tell me, there's a lot of people in the financial services industry. You know, what makes you and Largo Financial Services different then? Well, one thing that we believe is is um, educating our clients. Because one thing I I know for a fact is you cannot play in any kind of game if you don't understand the rules to the game. So when it comes to the money game, you gotta understand the rules to the money game. And one thing I realized in my 18 years of business, a lot of times people don't understand how the money game works. The financial industry understand it, but the middle income America don't. And you cannot win in that game. So that's one step we educate our clients on that. And then the second is um, helping our clients find money in places that they might be losing money without even knowing they're doing it. Because um, while you sit down with a lot of financial advisors, the first thing they say to you is, Jamie, how much money you got? Bring it, let me invest it for you. We could get a higher rate of return. But I, I choose a different part in that, where I go after where you're losing money. For example, the way you pay for real estate, you know, your um, credit card, car insurance, financing a car. Because we found that thousands and thousands of dollars are being thrown away every day, every year, without even knowing you're doing it. Oh, I'm sure. I know I do, uh, you know, <laughs> and I don't even like to think about it. Now, um, coming from IHOP, uh, yes. did you have a background in finance, or did you know you liked the money management? I mean, how did you find out that you, uh, this was for a fit for you? Well, you know, I didn't have not, no background in finance other than spending my parents' money. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, getting into the business, I, I fell in love with it because I realized, one, you know, I'm learning about money. And second, I, I realized, you know what, there's so many people out there that have been, that the information we're getting is not really what it is. So one thing that I started doing too, while I was in the business, was studying the wealthy families and seeing what are they doing different? Because coming from Africa, I mean, you see a lot of wealthy families in Africa when they pass away, they don't have that creating generational wealth mentality. A lot of times their wealth ends with them. So, but here in America, you see the Walt Disney, Walmart, all this dynasty, they continue to grow their dynasty from generation to the gen- to the next generation, and they control everything from the grave. So I'm like, what are they doing differently? People always talk about old money. I'm like, well, all the old money that I've seen never last long. So at the end of the day, you know, that's one reason why I say, you know what, I got to figure out what these people are doing that is different from everyone else. Is that what the uh, inspiration for your book, Creating Genera- Generational, Generational Wealth. Wealth, was? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was the main reason because one thing about, um, I've heard so many people talk about creating wealth. But what I wanted to do in this book was, one, share my story on how I'm doing it. Um, and secondly, have it as a resource for a lot of families that when they start or set up a business was the right type of structure to have because it's so important that's the basic thing first you got to have the right structure when you properly when you start a business and then when it comes to estate planning what what should i get should i do a will should i do a trust most people don't know there's so many myths about that and then when you're buying real estate how do i title it you know so that my family don't have to worry about probate and all that other stuff so all those things i put down in the book and then the biggest one that I've seen so many mates on, it's life insurance. What type should I have? What is it? So writing the book is a resource that you could read and then take action. I kept it so simple that anyone can pick it up and read. And I'm so excited when I, a 15-year-old calls me. Or I had a client that called me one day and said, man, my, my son read your book. He's 15 years old, and he's so excited about what you talked about in the book that he's motivated to do something. 
Yeah, I'm, I've got the book here in hand here in studio. Uh, it's definitely uh, appears to be a very easy to read book, not too long and not, you know, like a lot of small print or anything in it. Where is this book available for uh, listeners to pick up? Yes, what we've done is uh, we have it on Amazon. We have it on the Korean Generational Wealth uh, web- website that uh, that info. So Amazon, you got it. You could get it on Kindle book. You could get it on um, audio book. You could actually get a hard copy of it. So there's no excuses anymore. You, you could pick it up even on iTunes, you could download it from there too. So, you know, what I've done is just made it easy for anyone that wants to know to, to get some uh, and read about it. Okay, so part of the, you know, the, the idea behind this book is, you know, it's one thing to have a lot of money, but you want to create wealth for right. people, correct? And so tell me, you know, what is the difference between having a lot of money and creating wealth? Well, so many, we, we've seen a lot of examples of so many people that have wealth, that, that, that have money, you know, a lot of athletes, um, entertainers, even um, business owners that end up running out of money because um, of the way they spend it. But um, when you create wealth, is how do I probably structure my business so that when I pass on, that my kids can continue running the business, just like all the dynasties that we know about. So the difference between having wealth and having money is, can I, is my wealth gonna be passed on to the next generation? And how do I properly do it without the federal government in my pocket? You know, because one thing, I mean, we're not saying don't pay taxes to federal government because we definitely want to do that, but how can I do it so that when I pass away, I'm not paying 50% of the state tax. Now, do you see a lot of business owners come to you and that their business is structured improperly at, at oh, that point? Yes. What can you do at that point? I mean, can you restructure? Yeah, you could I mean? definitely restructure. You could definitely help them. And we work. We have CPAs and attorneys that we work with, and uh, we, we help them. And, and then depending on the size of their business, we show them all the concepts that, that would definitely help them. You know, we, we believe in the, in the, in the saying of um, J.D. Rockefeller, you know, um, own nothing, control everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So tell me, can anyone begin creating generational wealth? And what are some of the myths that stop people from getting started then? Well, I believe you, you can because like, you know, a big saying is it's not how much you make, you know, it's how much you keep the count. Mm-hmm. So and even if you feel, man, I'm too old right now, I can't do it. Well, you know what? You could pass the knowledge to your children and help them understand um, what I'm doing. I might not be today uh, Warren Buffett or Bill Gates. But what I'm doing right now is create a situation where my children will continually and my great grandchildren would know that name and the foundation that I've put in place will make that wealth happen for them. What are some of the uh, mistakes that the, the uh, ordinary business owner is making them with regard to business structure? Is that they're going to some free website and just pick an LLC and yeah. thinking that that's right? I mean, what are mistakes that you're seeing in your I practice? I mean, that's a perfect example. You know, I always encourage business owners, you, you got to invest in your business. And you got to take the time to talk to a CPA that understands business and taxes and find out what's the right structure for my business. And then from there, you could go in and, and, and invest the money in your business and have a right team. See, a lot of times we wait to the last minute to have a team in place. But you don't want to wait till something happens to have the right team. For my, I use me as an example. You know, I have two CPAs. One does my taxes and the other one does my accounting work for me. And then I also have a ton in place to make sure all my state um, affairs are, are handled properly. And then I also have a, a business evaluator in my team that I could refer to a client that is interested in that. So you have all those teams and you don't want to go as a business owner. You don't want to start doing business or doing your taxes with, um, you know, a hit and block, for example. You, you need to seek out professionals that understand um, taxes and, and your business structure. Good information. Uh, coming back from the break, I'm going to talk a little bit more with Douglas Aze, president and CEO of Largo Financial Services, about creating wealth. And you can pick up his book, Creating Generational Wealth, again, over on Amazon and Kindle, correct? Yes. All right. And his website, LargoFinancialServices.com. And you can pick up the phone and reach his company, 888-956-7526. Again, 888-956-7526. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Mooney, where business becomes show business. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. 
Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their Shop at Home Flooring Sales Service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. Rick Taseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. Are you looking for a local real estate firm that knows the market and has your interests in mind? Then contact Jim McPeak at McPeak Real Estate Firm, a family-owned business whose agents have over 60-plus years of experience in the Tampa Bay market. Many of the agents are military veterans that know the VA process for buying a home and are proud to help our military members in any way they can. From residential to commercial real estate, McPeak Real Estate Firm is here to help. Contact Jim at 813-495-3875 and learn more at McPeakTeam.com. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Help promote the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy. Tune in weekdays at 8 a.m. on 1250 Winds WHNZ to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where he promotes what is right with our community and highlights the successes of our entrepreneurs. Show contributor openings also available. You can learn more about the show and how to become part of this growing network at tampabayradio.com. Tune in weekdays at 8 a.m. to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Have you considered a reverse mortgage? Mortgage is part of your retirement financial plan. For homeowners age 62 or older, a reverse mortgage from Access Reverse Mortgage is a safe economical way to turn your home's equity into cash or monthly income. Access Reverse Mortgage is a family-owned company based right here in the Tampa Bay area for the past 10 years. They are A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau and Florida's leading reverse mortgage provider. Call 727 727- Three four seven zero three zero five, or go to accessreverse.com to start your research today. NMLS number four five six six. That's seven two seven three four seven zero three zero five. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Got a truck ride in the Riverview and Brandon areas this morning. Northbound US 301 approaching Bloomingdale and Causeway. Accidents at both of those intersections. Also, we've got slow traffic on Gibsonton Drive near I-75. Over in Pinellas County, southbound US 19 approaching Park Boulevard. Crash there was blocking the lane as well. See traffic problems? Call the entry firm of Abrahamson and Uteric Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by the Extrogen Temporal Scanner Thermometer. When buying a thermometer, trust over over 50 published studies supporting the accuracy of the Exergen Temporal Scanner. Your family deserves the best. The Exergen Temporal Scanner Thermometer, available at Walmart. Today, a mix of sun and clouds and pleasant with a high 85. Tonight, partly cloudy and cool, low 68. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, high 87. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Again, weekday mornings at 8 a.m. here on 1250 WHNZ. Learn more about the show over at tampabayradio.com. Currently talk with uh, Douglas Aze, President and CEO of Largo Financial Services. You can learn more about him, Largo Financial Services.com or give him a call 888-956-7526 again 888-956-7526 so uh, Douglas tell us you know what is the most important habit the you know of the super wealthy that the average person can adopt well you know the super wealthy they are proactive when it comes to planning and creating situations to keep their money intact for the next generation so they're very proactive they're proactive in educating themselves properly 
on the things that they need to do. And that's why they hire big guns, you know, um, um, estate lawyers to take care of the estate for them to make sure that no matter what happens, their family will continue. So is it safe to say the super wealthy are not the do it yourself or they understand the value in finding the professionals and saying that's your area of expertise? Because that's a weakness of mine is I'm the do it yourself or I'm that guy that says, oh, I could do that or I could figure that out. So <laughs> tell me, is that one of my uh, you know habits I need to break then? Yeah, that would be a good habit to break because we can we we cannot know everything. And information is so important that we, we seek out the people that understand and that's what they do. You know, just like Bob Elliott was speaking, he does health insurance. He's good at it. He's an expert in that. If I'm looking to get health insurance, I'll call him. You know, you don't just go and just start doing stuff and you don't know nothing about it. If I want to do real estate or get into real estate, I'll call you. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the key. You got to seek out the right people. And that's what the wealthy do. They seek out the right people. They don't mind paying for that because I'll pay $1,000 to save millions of dollars. Right. So what are the uh, five things that people that are listening to do or listening today can do today? Well, one is you, you got to start. You first, you got to find a get yourself a, a, a team, even if you don't have to hire everyone, but find the right team or find an advisor that has the right team in place that they could refer you to and set that up. And second, start looking at places that you might be losing money. For example, I had one of my clients that um, I restructured her car insurance, well, not even the car insurance, her, her finance in a car. And we took her from a $1,700 payment to a $700 a month payment. And she was able to take the difference in the money and start investing for her, for her future. Very cool. So you said five things. How many did you give me there? You just gave me two. Me two. <laughs> two, man. we got to give me five now. Come on, five things now. So the other stuff is you got to also find yourself a way to look at, you know, the, the things that we overlook. You know, cable, for example, your cell phone, for example, you know, those things right there they, that you spend money and you don't even realize that what's happening is you're paying all these fees. But if you call the companies, they actually have deals that they do every year that you could call and reduce your, your payment. And then the most important thing that we don't have is create a financial foundation. And I always tell people the best financial foundation before you start investing in real estate in the stock market, get yourself a properly structured life insurance policy to make sure that no matter what happens, your family will be taken care of. Yeah, in your book you explain, or you talk about using life insurance as a personal bank. Explain yes. this a little bit more. Well, you know, uh, for me, I, I, I'd say this. A lot of times we've, we've heard so many misconceptions about life insurance. Most people think it's just for debt. But one thing that I've realized, you know what, life insurance is not just for debt. Insurance companies, first of all, they control 75% of the wealth in this country. And second, they are willing to pay you a better interest rate than the banks will give you. So what I say to people, if you instead of setting up a savings account at a bank where your money is not protected, where you don't get no um, credit or proof on it, why well, don't get a life insurance policy? You get a better savings account in there with savings interest rate on it, and then you could actually use that money in the future when you need it. I used it when I got married. I talked to a lot of single people. They say, well, I don't need life insurance because I'm single. I don't have no children. Well, wrong answer. I got my first life insurance when I was 24 years old, and when I got married, I was able to use my life insurance policy to pay for my wedding. I use it to set up a medical practice for my wife. And I mean, I've used life insurance to buy cars and different things. So if you understand it and you have the right advisor in place and you structure your policy properly, it's How important then is it to get into life insurance earlier? Because if you wait until your 40s or 50s, now you're going to have to go through a uh, physical and you may not may not get approved for it. But I guess when you're younger, I mean, you can get in. And once you're in, you're in. Is that safe to say? I mean, it's, it's the perfect time to have life insurance. I mean, I have life insurance on my two daughters, and I put a lot of money in it for them because I'm setting them up for the future. By the time they're older, they're going to have enough money in there to do whatever it is they want. If they want to start a business, they can. If they want to go do whatever they want, they can. So it's good to start young because you. this is your, especially if you're, if you're working and you're making a lot of money, this is the best time to at least use that to build your financial foundation. And then you could start adding other stuff, other risky investments to where you could use your insurance money to do so many things. And I talk about that in my book, actually, on page 68, where I show the diagram. You know, you in real estate, whenever a client wants to buy a house, we always ask them, where's the list of your assets that you have? They, we list IRAs, savings account. There's also a line that says life insurance, cash, surrender value. And most people don't never put anything in there. When you're applying for a business loan, you go to the bank. They ask you, where's the list of your assets? They put in your savings account, stock market, all that stuff. But also put a line on there, life insurance, cash, surrender value. And a lot of people put zero on there. So I put that in there. And then I went to the FDIC website. I said, show me a list of every bank where they have money. You'd be surprised. 75% of the bank have a lot of their money in life insurance.
Wow. So you're saying that, you know, an easy first step for a lot of people to building generational wealth then is to establish a life insurance policy. Because, yeah, when I was young, I had that same idea. Why do I need life insurance? And nobody explained to me, you know, the importance of uh, having life insurance. Because to me, it was like, I don't have any dependents. Why do I need life insurance? And that's what a lot of people think. And, you know, you got to get one and have one that builds cash value in it. But you need to sit down with an, an advisor that understands it. And one thing I always tell you to do is, Ask that advisor to make sure that, you know, what does he have? You know, can't be selling me something that you don't want. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> so for people out there that don't have a lot of assets right now or don't have a lot of money to invest, you know, what can the people, you know, in that boat do right now? I mean, you don't have to have millions of dollars to start investing. You got to start with something. And that's why I believe, you know, life insurance is the only vehicle that will accomplish your goal for you. For example, you know, if I, put, if I have $1,000 to put away, you know, I could put a thousand dollars in a mutual fund, but if I pass away, my family gets a thousand dollars. You know, and then they're gonna get hit with tax. But if I get take the same thousand dollars and I purchase a life insurance policy, or split it up half and half, five hundred dollars in life insurance, five hundred dollars in an investment um, account, or whatever it is. If I pass away, my family will get the five hundred dollars plus the cash value that's in the. I mean, plus the debt benefit. You know, they get two, and it's tax free. So. <laughs> so where did you begin uh, when you uh, first stepped in the financial services industry? I take it that you didn't have a lot of wealth uh, at that time. What were some of the first steps then that you took to build your wealth? Well, the first step was finding a company and aligning myself with a company that uh, understands the value of teaching and educating people. You know, so that when I worked with the first company I worked with and I, I didn't see that, that much, then I, I decided to say, you know what, I'm going to find someone that I could align myself with to to understand that that understands where I'm trying to go, and then secondly is getting into this business. I, I realized real quick, you know, you gotta work hard. You know, there's no easy lunch, there's no free lunch, there's nothing. You gotta put in an effort as a business owner. You gotta discipline yourself and say, you know what, I'm gonna put in a hundred percent. Just I'm gonna like the same way I put a hundred percent for somebody else's job or or company. I'm gonna do that for myself. That means I need to get up early in the morning. I mean, I used to dress up. Even when I worked from home, when I didn't have an office, I wake up in the morning, take a shower at seven, you know, get get ready, dress up in my suit, and sit down and make my calls. And I don't take any personal calls until four o'clock in the evening. Very disciplined attitude. Yes. Then tell me, uh, we got about a minute left. <laughs> what have you grown Largo Financial Services into today? Tell me about your success. Well, thank God for today. We we have about six hundred agents all over the country, um, and we're constantly growing. We're always looking for folks to come join us and and help us spread the news and and the word. Uh, we have offices in six states uh, here in Tampa, Florida, of course, and we have offices in Maryland, Chicago, um, Texas, and uh, as well. And then with uh, with the, the book that we've written, it's helping us a lot to spread the word. No, well, a great uh, inspirational story, and it all started from a chance encounter when you're working tables at IHOP. Yes. Douglas, a great story, great information today on Thank the show. You. Appreciate you very much for being in the studio. Again, Douglas Aze, President and CEO, Largo Financial Services. Learn more about him, LargoFinancialServices.com, or pick up the phone and call his company, 888-956-7526. Again, 888-956-7526, LargoFinancialServices.com and pick up his book creating generational wealth and it's a great read uh it's very easy to read i should say i might actually read this one myself yeah. so and also thank you to uh, bob mcknight owner and president of mcknight and mcknight insurance solutions who was on the first half of the show learn more about him mcknight-insurance.com tune in tomorrow morning for working women wednesdays and again you've been listening to that business show with jamie maloney where business becomes show business mm-hmm.